Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, we are going to look at how to split our images perfectly or like a pro inside of Canva. And with this, it's mostly common when you are designing carousels and I made a post on that but I just wanted to give detailed explanations on how to do that. So if you are interested in knowing how to do this in Canva, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is to come to photos and um, you actually need a photo to be able to get started with this. So I click on any photo at all. Maybe if it's this, yeah, I can use this thing. And the second thing you have to do is after you add your photo, you have to position your photo how you would want to split it. Okay, so I can simply do this. Okay, make it bigger. Okay, and I can drag my photo here. You can see then the third thing you have to do is to click on this borderline of your photo and crop it to the left okay so after when we do that make sure you do not click away do not click away okay then you just have to simply click on the duplicate page at the top here to duplicate the page still don't click away click on your image okay and um, initially what i used to do is i click on my image and press shift then i drag it to the right sorry to the left side of my canvas okay until it hit but i realize once i do that sometimes it gets to vanish just like that and um, someone recommended something i just have forgotten the person's name on my instagram commented a nice thing to do that you can also align the image to the left but you can see it's not um available here i wish it could help that would have made the problem very easy to solve so what we can do is we still click and hold shift and drag okay but this case i would leave it somewhere here and continue moving it with my arrow key until you know this purple line appears i don't know if you saw the purple line I'm looking on my second screen to see if I, okay so you can see the purple line appears which tells you that it's perfectly or it has the image just hit on the canvas okay so once i notice that i click on my image okay and drag the remaining portion of the image into it but you realize that once i over drag i'm now stretching the image so you have to make sure it's not you know i'm not over dragging you understand so i can just leave it somewhere here which is very cool okay so that's how to split your image so if you push this in can in instagram it would look very cool so another thing i want us to take note of is how you can beautifully um you know split your images so this was just like um, an example a nature sort of thing but let's say we're designing a carousel and i wanted to let's say use this lady over here you understand you realize that from the initial photo we used it couldn't cover the entire um canvas of the second slide so what you can also do is when you are cropping or increasing the size of your image okay we can you can see this center thing over here you know this marker over here which helps us to know that this is the center of our image okay so i can increase my image to the point where this you know this uh, marker like i mentioned um we will just have to make it hit the right part of our canvas okay so then if i duplicate the page all i now have to do is to make sure that is hitting the left part okay so doing this also just helps us know that we've divided our photo equally you understand so that's another way you can do this now let's look at something else so in this case i do not want to divide my photo equally okay so i will pick an image like this which is very good to use for your title page so my title can be here you know with the white space over here and i can crop it here so with this what i usually get to do is um, I like to make about 30%, no, not, let's say 60% of my image. You know, I just want you to show, yeah, in the first slide and the remaining part of it in the second slide. But in this case, if I, let me just do this quickly. Okay, so if I'm to duplicate the page and crop this and duplicate it. Okay, and I slide it here. Okay, 
let me just do it quickly when it hits you can see then i just pull it out and just to make sure it doesn't you know cover the whole thing what i can do sometimes is um you can see we can't just have this as a carousel you understand because it's not perfectly done so what i try to do sometimes is i can rather remove the background of this image okay so i can remove the background of this and we just have to wait for canva to do its thing okay so once we do that you realize that our image or our castle would look very interesting okay it's not fully saved yet that's why um, we are having this so maybe let me intentionally add the text over here just so that it saves everything um quickly so what this does is when someone is sliding you know even though you start with the yellow with the same person the image but um enters into a whole different color in the different slide okay and what we can also do is if you are using the canva desktop app you can just pick the color of the background and just you know um make it you know just have it to the background here so what i simply mean is with the page two you know canva usually generates the colors and um i'm not getting the yellow color over here so if you're in the canva app which i highly recommend you using especially if you're designing carousels um with the app i'm referring to the desktop one not the mobile one okay so you can just use the color picker choose the color from here and just you know have it here. so let's say it was a brown i just choose a brown over here so even with the same person here and that's where the seamless okay so we have the colors here i can choose it okay so even the same person but you realize that the background is two different colors and it makes it gives it a very interesting look especially so if you want to see um how i did this there's a post i made on instagram on um i think using canva like a pro so using text i believe like a pro or so and i use this image so you can check it out and i also spoke about how to split your images in you know in canva so yes this is how i get to actually split my images in canva and uh, also how i get to do things you know a bit um creatively when i'm working with images in my car so, so yes i hope you found this helpful and i hope this is going to help you to be able to um create interesting carousels in canva the name has always been benjamin and before before you go if you are new make sure to subscribe because i always and always come up with interesting canva tutorials and you can also like this video which you know helps the um algorithm to push this video to more canva designers and another thing is i want to hear from you so you can comment anything in the comments section below the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity i will see you in my next video